Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about the topic biome. This video is part of levels of organization of ecology in environment ecology series. So if you have not watched the previous videos, please click here uh, so for, the, for the conceptual clarity and uh, come back here. So let's discuss about the biome. So biome is the fifth level of organization in ecology. The first being the basic being the organism that is indiv individual then the population community ecosystem and next is after ecosystem the biome so let's learn what is biome the biome is the terrestrial part of the ecosystem is divided into enormous region called biomes okay the terrestrial part terrestrial part of the ecosystem is divided into enormous regions called biomes if this is the terrestrial ecosystem then it is divided into different regions each individual region is called a biome and these biomes are characterized by particular climate vegetation animal life and general soil types and these are all similar these characteristics are similar for a particular biome and no two biomes are similar and they have their own different characteristics okay and the climate determines the boundaries of each biomes okay and uh, mind it scientifically there is no single uh, classification of biomes and uh, different scientists classify biomes according to their whims and fancies so this this uh, type of classification is a broad classification uh, i am not going into detail about the classifications of biomes i am going to you only the overview and in this type uh, the bio, bi biomes, biosphere is classified into seven biomes, okay? The first one being the tundra, taiga, temperate deciduous forests, tropical rainforest, savanna, temperate grassland, and desert. Here, each biome has its own characteristics. It is influenced by temperature and precipitation, and each biome has its own set of uh, animal and plant life which are different to other biomes okay okay first let's discuss about the tundra tundra uh, this this biome is occupied at uh, 60 to 90 degree latitude of north and south of the equator okay at the top extreme portion of the globe okay and this is the northernmost region adjoining the ice, ice burnt poles okay and this area this this uh, tundra biome is devoid of uh, large trees it is it is including only uh, small uh, sedges grasses and mosses the, the, you can observe this area it, it, it does not contain any tree tree life because of harsh climatic condition of a uh, very cold severe cold nature so this biome contains only uh, grasses lichens mosses and sedges which can withstand certain harsh condition and animal life includes reindeer, arctic fox, polar bear, snowy owl, lemming, arctic hare and certain and reptiles and amphibians are absent here. So they, they don't have presence in this tundra. Okay. The next biome, next biome is taiga. And this taiga is occupied uh, between the latitude of uh, uh, 50 to 65 degree north and south of the planet. Okay and northern europe northern europe northern europe asia that is certain part of uh, uh, russia and northern north africa uh, we have the taiga forest okay and this forest is al also called as boreal forest boreal forest My, uh, please remember this from uh, prim's point of view and here dominating vegetation is coniferous evergreen forest this is the coniferous evergreen forest which has the leaf characteristics of needles they have need, needle like leaves and certain uh, spruce and some pine and fern, fern trees are also present and the animal life includes certain small, small seed eating uh, birds hawk fur bearing carnivores because it is very cold climate uh, in order to conserve the heat the animals has their fur on their body to conserve the heat okay and uh, certain animals like Siberian tiger, wolves, wolverine, and these these animals has fur on, the, on their body to conserve the conserve the heat, body heat. Okay, this is the second 
biome. The third biome is temperate deciduous forest. Deciduous means which shed shed leaves leaves during the dry period. Here you can observe the uh, tree characteristics. And the temperate deciduous forest is occupied uh, in the central and southern Europe. Central and southern Europe, okay. And western China, eastern North Africa, and certain parts of Brazil. And this one, New Zealand. Okay, these are the areas occupied by temperate deciduous forest. This temperate deciduous forest is occupied uh, in the range of 30 to 45 degree north and south of the equator. Okay, 30 to 45 degree latitude north and south of the equator. And uh, this uh, plant life include here uh, the trees like beech, oak, maple and cherry. And these are all the most productive areas of the globe, okay, because of the congenial climate for the growth of the plants, okay. And so most, almost all the uh, animal lives are present, including uh, vertebrates and in invertebrates in this area. And the next biome is tropical rainforest. This is the most diverse region of the world because of its congenial climate for the growth of the plants and development of animals throughout the year. Okay, here the temperature is within the range of 30 degrees throughout the year and rainfall is also occurring throughout the year, abundant rainfall, so it can sustain more life, okay. And this area is occupied by, uh, occupied in the areas of uh, adjoining the equator, uh, 5 to 10 degree north and south of the equator, okay. And the forest includes uh, parts of Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia, uh, Western Ghats of India, Northeastern forests of India and uh, Amazon forest particularly, most particularly and Central America. Okay, then then Congo, Congo Basin in uh, Africa. These are all the places where tropical rainforests are found. Okay, each biome, remember each biome contains certain characteristics. Okay, and this, this biome has this uh, tropical rainforest as particular uh, type of character in it is called multi-story cropping system here one story is occupied by tall trees of uh, 40 to 50 uh, meter height and next level is occupied by slightly uh, shorter plants and then the shrubs and then ground covers and along with this the creepers are climbing on the plants to reach the sunlight so this is the multi-story cropping system in certain parts of amazon forest uh, even the uh, sunlight uh, fails to penetrate to the ground level. So that's the density of the plants in these areas. So this is the rich forest, we, we find rich biodiversity. Uh, it is also facing severe uh, danger from the human interference, okay? And this this forest. Okay, next, next biome is savanna. This savanna is also called as tropical grassland. So this is a transitional climate between equatorial forest that I discussed previously and and trade wind hot deserts okay here uh, the trade wind hot desert is occupied by Sahara here and uh, this this equatorial equatorial forest uh, that I pre uh, discussed previously so this is a transitional area this this uh, savanna okay tropical grassland forest and the this areas includes West African Sudan and uh, uh, East Africa south africa and in uh, south america we, we find two patches one is lanos and another is campus lanos is occupied on uh, north of the equator and campus is occupied at the south of the equator here this one so this is important for pre from prelim prelims point of view these two points okay uh, this this uh, savanna climate is majorly the uh, the the plant life here majorly is the grassland interspersed by certain tree species okay and majorly it's a grassland and the fauna includes great diversity of uh, grazers and browsers such as antelope buffaloes zebra elephant rhinoceros and carnivores includes lion cheetah hyena mongoose and many many rodents so this has very diverse plant and animal sorry animal life so Almost all the most of the uh, wildlife sanctuaries and uh, wildlife sanctuaries and safari centers are 
present in the african region and god must be crazy film has been shot here in african grassland savanna grassland so this is the another biome and the next biome is temperate grassland this temperate grassland occupies north america eh? then ukraine ukraine and parts of russia and this this uh, this is dominated but majorly by grasses majorly by grass and very low rainfall is also there so here this vegetation is dominated by grasses and the fauna includes the bison bison that is uh, um, antelope cattle rodents prairie dogs wolves rich in and also rich in uh, diverse array of ground nesting birds okay and this temperate grassland is also a particular kind of biome and the next important is desert biome this desert biome is characterized by very high temperature in the uh, uh, hot tropical deserts and very low rainfall and uh, plant characteristics by uh, xerophytes which which conserve water uh, which prevents pre precipitation as certain characteristics include uh, waxy layer of the cuticle and uh, and other important things and thorny bush thorny plants which sometimes do not contain leaves to prevent transpiration from the plant okay uh, in desert there are two different types of deserts hot deserts which are due to the offshore trade wind uh, trade winds and another one is mid latitude deserts which are away from the any cloud bearing winds okay and this off this this hot uh, deserts occupies 15 to 30 degree north and south of the equator and sahara great australian desert north american desert these are all the uh, so this, this one uh, uh, saudi arabian desert iranian desert thar desert these are all the hot deserts and mid latitude desert include gobi desert patagonian desert this is the mid latitude desert okay and here this flora includes drought resistant vegetation as i discussed earlier such as cactus euphorbia sea grass so the fauna includes reptiles mammals and birds and here the animal life uh, certain animals uh, rodents undergo hibernation to escape from the harsh climate and water scarcity in the in the harshest uh, period of the uh, year okay so this those are all the for seven different types of biomes that i discussed in detail uh, in this graph uh, let's discuss about the influence of annual precipitation and annual temperature on the type of uh, vegetation and biomes okay uh, this tundra biome that i discussed earlier is due to very low temperature that is below 0 to 10 minus 10 degree celsius and also very low precipitation low rain low rainfall that is within the 100 cm rainfall so this area is occupied by tundra and if the temperature is slightly more than that of tundra and precipitation is also slightly more than up to 200 uh, uh, cm we find boreal forest that is taiga forest and if the temperature is little more than boreal forest that is from 10 to 20 degree celsius and precipitation is up to 2 uh 182 220 220 cm rainfall then we find temperate seasonal forest okay if the pre precipitation is still more at the same temperature range of 10 to 20 degree celsius we find temperate rainforest okay temperate rainforest and if the precipitation is very less very less with the temperature range of 0 to 20 degree celsius we find temperate grassland or cold desert because of less rainfall okay these are all the different biomes that i discussed previously and if we have more temperature that is 25 to 30 degree celsius with abundant rainfall we find tropical rainforest here occupying the tip okay and if the temperature is less than that at the same temperature range of uh, tropical rainforest we find tropical seasonal forest or savanna grassland that i discussed earlier it is a transitional phase so in this way temperature and precipitation has a great role in influencing the different biomes of the biosphere okay so this is this shows the distribution of different biomes okay this this top layer occupied by taiga then tundra then this this is savanna this is the uh, desert so this this shows the pictorial representation broad way 
so thanks thanks for watching please please stay tuned for more videos please subscribe uh, for previous videos please click here and for videos related to contemporary issues which are useful for UPSC and KPSC preparation please please click here uh, I will be uploading more videos related to this so thanks you thank you thanks for watching